Charles, what's the new news with the new Duke? Mm, there's no news, sir, but the old news. That is, uh, the old Duke is banished by his younger brother, the new Duke, and three or four loving lords have put themselves into voluntary exile with him whose lands and revenue enrich the new Duke. Hmm. Where will the old Duke live? Well, they say he's already in the forest of Arden, and many merry men with him. And there they live like the old Robin Hood of England. I came to acquaint you with a matter. I am given, sir, secretly to understand that your younger brother Orlando hath a disposition to come in disguised against me to try a fall. Your brother is but young and tender, and for your love I would be loath to uh, foil him, as I must for my own honor if he come in. I came hither to acquaint you with all that you might stay him from his intentment. Charles, I thank thee for thy love to me, which thou shalt find I will most kindly requite. I have myself notice of my brother's purpose herein, and have labored to dissuade him from it. But he is resolute. He is the stubbornest young fellow. Therefore, use thy discretion. I had lief, I had lief thou did break us his neck as his finger. And now were it best to look at, for if thou dost him any slight disgrace, will never leave thee till he hath taken thy life by some indirect means or some other. For I assure thee, and almost with tears as I speak it, there is not one so young and so villainous this day living. I am heartily glad I came hither to you. If he come, I'll give him his payment. And so God keep your worship. Farewell, good Charles. 